We are in stupendously good form, and it's the Carabao Cup quarterfinals. We've conceded the least in the league. We've scored the most in the league. But we're playing Arsenal, and you know what that means. Roll the intro. Welcome back to the Gentleman Save. I am Cultured Left Foot. It's a pleasure to have you with me. And we are playing Arsenal. And we have conceded the least goals in the league. And we have scored the most. Our form is literally incredible. Since, since the last video, our form has been, quite frankly, ludicrous. It has been just stupid. We're five points clear at the top of the league. Five points clear of Liverpool. Man City have dropped off the pace a bit. But look... Out of this, we lost 1-0 to Man City in the last video. We followed that with a 4-1 win against Shakhtar Donetsk with goal scorers galore, two in the 90th minute. Then 5-0, we beat Birmingham. McCauley getting a hat-trick, Toss getting one, and Michael Wood getting a third. Bournemouth, we beat them 1-0. Callum Bacon getting a goal. And elect to smash 4-0 away from home. Marco Toss getting two, Zakagani and Bird in the last few minutes. Aston Villa were beaten 2-0 with Marco Toss getting a brace. 5-0 we beat Crystal Palace, Marco Toss getting three and McCauley getting another. 1-0 we beat Udinese with uh, McCauley getting the goal and we've just beaten Sheffield Wednesday 5-1. We scored all six goals, Callum Bacon scored an OG but my word did he make up for it by getting a hat-trick. So it's been absolutely phenomenal form which means we're doing a live com and we're probably going to lose. So it is Arsenal, the arch rivals that we can never seem to beat. They're just about hanging on to their Premier League status. If we look at the league here, they're currently 17th, flirting with the danger zone, although the three bottom teams are pretty poor and cut adrift. Eight points in 18th to Arsenal on 16 points in 17th. Uh, they've sacked Marcus Babbel. They're looking for a new manager, so we're also playing them when they haven't got a manager in place. But it's been incredible. I mean, top of the goal scoring list, Marco Toss and Callum Bacon join up there with 11. Average rating, Marco Toss, McCauley, Callum Bacon. Um, we haven't got anyone in the assists. We're spreading them out. Player of the match, Thomas McCauley, four. Clean sheets, Juan Felipe with ten. Ten clean sheets in the league in 15 games is incredible. And it's just been a good feel story. Goals, 23 goals in 22 appearances for Callum Bacon is ridiculous. 15 goals in 18 starts for Marco Toss is ridiculous. Um, 12 goals in 13 appearances for McCauley is ridiculous. Assist 10 for McCauley. Average rating 8.03. It's, it's just unheard of. I've never ever seen that before. An average rating, I mean, in um, if we go overall... 22 appearances, 23 goals, 6 assists, 7 player of the matches, 81% pass completion, 50% of his shots he's ever taken in his like this season for United have been on target, and he's averaging an 8.03. It is ridiculous. Totally worth the 55 million that we spent for him, now worth 62 million. Utterly, utterly ridiculous it really really is there's no other word for it and i'm hoping he keeps up the goal scoring form one thing that's led to the fantastic upturn in form we've reverted back to this formation we're attacking teams straight from the off and it's just going really really well uh, tanaka has blended into the team playing this win back role he's learning it he's getting there uh, and he's playing it well with his direct running it is coming along really well Victor Hernandez has been incredible in the midfield. The strikers we've already spoken about. And Zakagani at the back has been a great signing. Really, really good. Averaging a 7.51 in the league. Uh, 15 appearances he's made so far. Hasn't missed a game in the league. It's been incredible. And this will be the team that we take in to face Arsenal. So we'll let Gary Neville do the briefing. And it's been really, really good. Thank you so much, everybody, for commenting on the last video. You'll also notice that I'm wearing a... Dr. Benji sponsored, note that side, Dr. Benji sponsored um, Thames FC 
top, which is very nice. I didn't get a name on the back. I just got my number, which is number three. If we can see it there. There we go. So I just got my number rather than anything else. Um, and it's been really good. It's, it's very comfy. I recommend buying one. It's not a proper football shirt, in case you're wondering. It's, it's, it's printed. It's all printed on rather than uh, stitched and stuff like that. But it's a great, it's a great top. And also, go and check out his series, Dr. Benji FM. If you haven't seen his series, then you should do. He's the best football manager YouTuber ever, probably. But here we go. Man United v Arsenal in the Carabao Cup quarter final. We're in red. They're apparently going to be playing in blue. This is the lineup we're going to use. Everybody's fit and healthy. The bench is looking strong as well. Uh, we can actually get Richie Robson back onto the bench in place of Tufik Mousse. And we'll go from there. Submit the team. Get into the game. We're starting attacking. Fle flexible. Three up front. Three at the back. Four across the midfield with wing backs. Let's get into it and have a good time. So the game gets underway. And um, Arsenal will get us kicking off. Um, let's just check everything is in place. Yeah, key highlights and replays are on for goals. It's been really good. Question of the day today. What is the toughest challenge you've ever had in champ manager or football manager? And that is a question because I know I put out a question in the last video to say, who should I be in championship manager 0102? I found something online on Twitter by the um, the group. There's a, a guy with a Twitter handle called CM0102 Legends, and he's just started a new save with a team in Brazil who start with no players. And it's apparently the toughest challenge you can have in Champ Manager 0102. This club have no players. We're on... We're on extended highlights, and they're on a wrong key, that's why. Let's get extended on. There's this the club in Brazil that start with no players, and the challenge is you can only sign players that your scout finds as Macaulay's shot goes over. So it's a really tough challenge, and I think that's that's what I'm going to do as, as the challenge. I'm tempted to do a save with Man United, but we'll see. I'm, I'm not too sure. Let me know down below. That's another question for you. I want to know what's the toughest challenge you've ever had in football manager or championship manager back in the day, and... What was Hernandez? Oh, that was just over. I thought that was flying in. And what would you prefer me to see? Do this really tough challenge with Champ Manager 102 where I can only sign players my scouts find and we start at a club with no players or go with a save with Man United and be a big name, go and sign all the players we want and have all like the Dwight York, Andy Cole, Oli Solskjaer, Ruud van Nistelrooy, David Beckham, Giggs, Skulls, the Neville brothers, John O'Shea's like a 21-year-old in the reserve. So... Let Just let me know which one you would prefer, but let's get back to the game because it's nearly the end of the first half and I haven't really been paying attention to anything as Malcolm Schotts goes wide and um, we just need to create a few more chances here. Juan Philippe takes the goal kick up to Zakagani, Tanaka, Tanaka back to Bird, Bird into Zakagani, Tanaka has it on the right wing, he comes forward with it looking for Bacon who run really gets in there, the pace, McCauley with the header tipped over the bar by Horvath who's still in goal for Arsenal after having two pretty terrible seasons for them. Hernandez back to McCauley. McCauley to Bacon on the edge, trying to flick it in to Hernandez and didn't get there. Tanaka will pick up the clearance, but that doesn't come to anything. I have played Champ Andro 102 since I've, I'm have i going to do a series of it on my channel, and uh, I'm really looking forward to doing it on there. It's good fun. It's good fun. You fly through the seasons. You get it all done really well. Bacon with the ball in. Marco Toss shoots. The power is too much for Horvath in goal. 43 minutes gone and we beat, we're beat. we beating Arsenal. This is good. This is what we need to happen. As Malcolm came forward, he gets tackled by Tanaka. A good long ball forward. Callum Bacon uses his pace to get on the end of it. Dinks across in Marco Toss. First time left-footed half volley. Horvath stands. No chance for that finish. And I'm, you know, touch wood, cross fingers, whatever you want to do. I think, as this is the last season of the journeyman, it feels like it's going to be really, really successful. So the whistle goes for half-time, and we go in 1-0 up. Absolute domination. They haven't had a shot on target. Um, yes, we've had a bit more possession as well. They're restricting them to shots from... They've had four shots, all long shots, none on target. So it is going very, very well. And assertively, I'm very happy with the performance. Get out there, carry it on. No changes need to be made. And we get it underway. Coach left foot's red army. That's what the chant. That's what the crowd are chanting. As Tanaka, great ball down the line to Callum Bacon. He's in one on one and he scores. 16 seconds into the second half. Callum Bacon makes it 2-0. And this is wonderful, wonderful stuff. And something to consider as well is that because this is the last season of the journeyman save, no matter what happens, this will be the last season. I'm tempted to go and ask for more transfer money. That's a lovely finish. Horvath has no chance. More transfer money and then just go and splurge it all on someone who's amazingly good 
in the January transfer window just to really give us that edge. As Malcolm's free kick goes over the bar and that's not troubling um, uh, Juan Philippe in goal. But yeah, it's been really good. It's been really good. So Hernandez tries to get on the header clearance and does. Callum Bacon picks it up. He comes forward. Back to Hernandez. Hernandez with a shot from range. Just fizzing past the post. But this is so much more like it. This is the four. This is how we've been playing. All those games off camera. This is this is how we've been playing. It's been absolutely brilliant. Um, a quick update on... I'll probably be putting out an update on the channel. But Football Manager 19, has, the release date has been announced for the 2nd of November, which is awesome it's great they've announced the, the date this early it means the game must be progressing nicely however i'm going i know what the basis of my fm19 save is going to be it's going to be similar to um, as mccauley heads that down hernandez shot easy catch for horvath the fm19 save is going to be the basis of around a, a, like the nk marable series it's going to be one club we take them from the the a, a poorer poorer division in um in europe and we try and win the champions league with them that is what it's going to be I've got a couple of clubs in mind, and it's something. It's going to be a club that I've um, visited in in my life, or, or a club that I've like been to their stadium, or I've seen them play, or something like that. I like that connection. I'd love to do it again with NK Maribor, but I think it's a bit too soon to do it um, after a season. I don't know. Let, let me know. That's another question for you. Would you mind another NK Maribor series? Is it something you really enjoyed me doing before? We sort of know the club. Um, they have some players that are still there that obviously we'd know from the original series. So, yeah, let me know. But here come Arsenal on the attack. Malcolm's jumps around the tackle of Tanaka. His cross is poor and Wood gets it away. Hernandez looks to launch the counter into McCauley, who gets away from his man. Thomas McCauley, ball across. Marco Toss doesn't miss them. 3-0. That's going to be the title of today's episode. Ludicrous. I've said it too many times. Hernandez. I had some Donald Trump hands going on there, didn't I? So we'll try and cut that out as Balart intercepts that pass. But again, look at this. Six attempts on goal, and they've all been long shots for Arsenal. This is comfortable and it's not very often I say that at all is uh Cap de Villa is going to come on for Bird in that in that little role there as a deep line playmaker on defend he was just um on a 6.9 looking a uh, 6.8 6.9 looking a little bit tired as Bacon gets his head to it Evans will get on the ball just after the hour mark Malcolm finds Watson on the edge for Arsenal into Ruben Neves who shoots and Juan Felipe definitely wants that clean sheet we're going to make another sub with 20 minutes to go we're going to bring on Richie Robson for Balart, oh, no, yeah, we're going to bring on Richie Robson for Balart on that left-hand side, just to give him a bit of freshness after he comes back from his injury, uh, give him a bit of a run out, and it's going very, very well. So, um, I don't know if you want me to do a bit of a chat about the channel in a normal episode like this, or you want me to do release a video. Um, I've asked you enough questions, so I'll just make a decision at some point, but I think I'll probably do it as a little video just to understand and give you an understanding of what's coming on the channel in the future. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying life as a YouTuber at the moment. Obviously, it's not my full-time job. My full-time job, I'm, I'm um, a material scientist or I'm a lab manager. I was a material scientist a while ago. But now I'm a lab manager out here in Singapore. And it's, um, yeah, it's very good. As Mogolon has it, back to Evan. That's a lovely little pass. Tanaka gets it away. Marco Toss picks it up. Back to Cap Devia. Out to Zakagani on the right-hand side. He's got Tanaka in front of him. And we can go long and find Bacon, which is what he tries to do. But uh, it's an easy interception for McNamara. Back to Horvath. Ten minutes to go in this game. And we hold a comfortable 3-0 lead. Espinosa into Mogollon. Into Ruben Neves. Out to Jabba. Jabba. Ruben Neves. Ball up to Phillips. Phillips shoots from range. Juan Philippe with a good save. That's another long shot from Arsenal. And it's another easy save. Nine attempts on target. They've had nine long shots. Defensively, this formation is really, really good. I don't know why. I don't know why it works so well defensively. It must be the three at the back. But um, Hernandez gets it, launches a counter up to McCauley. It's two on one in Arsenal's favour. It's one on one. McCauley's in. The defender doesn't pressurise him. Bacon, that's a bit of a poor pass, to be honest, from Thomas McCauley. But it shows you how well we attack late on in games and how well we've got for goal scoring. It's Mogollon and Juan Philippe really wants that clean sheet bonus. That's a fantastic save from Juan Felipe. And uh, Ruben Neves will take the result in corner. Evans is there and that hits the bar. And uh, Juan Felipe really does want that clean sheet bonus today. Hernandez lines up the free kick. Short to Callum Bacon. He dinks it in. Wood with a header down. It goes past the post. And that will probably be all she wrote. And it is. 3-0. The fans give us a standing ovation. Both strikers score. Assertively, you played very well. Uh, I'm not very happy with the result. I don't need to tell them not to get complacent. That was Arsenal. We never beat Arsenal. That was really, really good. So, 
We're into the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. We're still in the FA Cup. We're still in the Champions League. We're winning the league. It's um, it's it's all going very, very, very well at the moment. So again, a quick look at these stats before we end the video. I mean, it is just simply ridiculous. In fact, let's go into the Premier League um, and we'll go into the stats here. Player overview stats when it loads. So top goal scorers, we know that we're joint at the top, 11 each now. Tw both 24-year-old strokers. Minutes per goal, 96 minutes. In every 96 minutes, Marco Toss scores a goal. Insane. Absolutely insane in the membrane that is absolutely ridiculous we're going to play it um sorry i didn't want that we're going to team detailed in here look at this average possession we're down in 12th but we've got a formation that means we don't really need the possession we've got a striker system we're only at form win 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 incredible absolutely incredible i mean are we top of we're not top of anything in here we're not to, I mean, down in 18th with penalties. We've none. We haven't had any penalties this year. Yellow card in ninth. Red cards. We're not up there. Uh, defending. I mean, we've only conceded eight in 15 games, which is ridiculous. Uh, we haven't conceded. We've conceded one goal from a corner. Uh, we've had the highest attendance. It's 100% of our capacity. I mean, we've had the biggest net spend with 111 million, but we won't, we won't have to worry about that, do we? Don't have to worry about that. I mean, look at Newcastle. They've had their one, two, three, four, five, fifth biggest net spend, and they're in 15th. Not very good at all. But it's just been incredible. We don't give away too many fouls. Um, the tackling is pretty poor, to be honest, in the league. Tackles one ratio is really bad. Um, but it's just, I don't know. It's just working. It's just working really, really well. And when things work, it makes it so much nicer. We did. We drew. Oh, that's the news I had to tell you. We drew Hamburg. In the Champions League uh, knockout stages, which is a pretty favourable tie, to be honest, I'm I'm pretty confident of getting through that. Top of the league, Champions League first round knockouts, third round of the FA Cup, and into the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup, where we'll face either Chelsea, Ipswich, West Brom, or Man City, and we will find out next episode who it is that we've got. We're actually going to end the episode there. It's going to be a one-game episode because I've been talking for so much. But we'll be back probably, well, probably quite a few games and come back for the Carabao Cup, maybe semi-final, second leg, I think. Um, I'm keen to fly through the league games while it's all going so well. And we haven't got any big, Tottenham is a pretty big league game, but after that, we've got a run where it's pretty much not, you know, mundane teams in the sense of the series. Um, so, yeah, we'll go from there. I mean, look at this run again. Arsenal, Liverpool, Hamburg, Chelsea. Hamburg, Man City. That's a that's a run and a half, that. But thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here. Remember to leave a comment down below with your answer to the questions that I asked. And I'm looking forward to what's coming on the channel. I'm very excited by it. And I'm hoping that this journey can end with a bit of a bang and we go out and win everything. That would be amazing. I'd take, I would take a double. Any sort of double would be great to end the journeyman series. But thank you very much for watching. For now, I'm out. Cheers.